Yeah, but they were still that's still wage theft to mm-hmm. a, to an extreme degree. Furthermore, they were they're treating us as employees before uh, being classified as independent contractors. They were treating us em, as employees. So not only were they breaking the law by misclassifying us, they were also breaking mm-hmm. any potential independent contractor um, agreement because an independent contractor agreement, you show up when you're going to show up and you leave when you're going to leave and you don't get fined. And I, I've been using this example. When your plumber says, hey, I'll be there at two o'clock and shows up at three. Yeah, you don't then tell like... the plumber, you owe me $100 for being late. Yep. Right. And that's what's happening in this strip club. So they modeled their business off of wage theft and then they gaslit all of us to mm-hmm. think that that was better for us. Yes, 100%. And then people like me who lose half their foot in an automobile accident don't have access to disability or unemployment. Whoop, whoop. So <laughs> while, yes, I understand, like, yeah, before all of the changes, it was better for us well, not because better. we weren't getting stolen from us. Not much. better. I'm I, using air quotes yeah. if you're listening. Yeah. It's not not better. I think the reason I'm pro AB5 is for communities like Lyft and Uber where they're clearly not independent contractors. They're on a schedule. They're they're um but we were we're on a schedule. No, no, no. Sorry. My brain just I was in a car accident also a year ago. Oh, and that explains it. Yeah, I was in a head-on collision. <laughs> and uh, anytime my heart rate gets elevated, which this makes me very, like, this okay. entire discussion. Well, we're friends. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we're chill. Just yeah. the topic mm-hmm. and the fact that this is still a fucking thing and we still have to fight for rights as sex workers just right. to be, like, right. treated the same as every other fucking that's person. That's what AB5 gives us. Yes, but I don't like how it's changed the way that the club is working and I b- primarily because I find that a lot of women in that community don't have either the knowledge or the courage to stand up for the club that they're in right. the way that soldiers of pole is standing up for mm-hmm. sex workers oh, yeah, it's we, not yeah it's there's like what swap and soldiers of pole and like that's and that's it and those are like the only two major national programs that I know of there's the I think St. James Infirmary is another one. International Adult Entertainers, yes. A-I-E-U. Yes. yes. That's primarily that porn stars, yes, though, primarily I that. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, those that. are the people who went up against Instagram, is the I. Them you, and whatever. Everybody Visible. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, but they did it right before Everybody Visible created the account. Okay. that They had, like, in like whatever, and that's when the shadow yeah. banning got really bad. So there's, like, so many different things yeah we're just under attack basically yeah. for being women yeah. for being self-expressed for being sex workers mm-hmm. we're we're at we're at war basically yeah. we're at, we're at digital and like you know fiscal war mm-hmm. with people who um you know these people are just stealing from us they're stealing yeah. our culture they're stealing our money they're stealing our rights mm-hmm. and then um and then like you know fk twigs and jlo can pull dance with no problem you know so i think it's it's frustrating yeah. it's all hell it's super um, frustrating i hear your frustrations with ab5 let me tell you my biggest frustration with ab5 it's um that the government hasn't been making sure that the employers are implementing it properly. Thank you. That's my biggest frustration. Um, but because we have AB5 in place now, we can unionize. And they're the, only, the barrier left now is educating the strippers that they have all the power. Mm-hmm. That's the largest barrier that we have in place. And for also because union unions are stigmatized and there's a lot of misconceptions around unionizing so getting the education about the unions themselves and then giving them education like you have you actually have all the power if you're if you work collectively as a unit and that's the biggest barrier and without eb5 and without these employee rights we wouldn't be able to do that yeah yeah so the negative for me comes from the pole dancing side because in california i can no longer go as an independent contractor to other studios that I don't actually work at and teach specialty workshops anymore as an independent contractor. So I have to go in as an employee now. Like if I went up to San Francisco, I have to go through all of those employee standards and everything. And now I'm getting, now I'm charging whatever the studio charged. It can't be classified as something different because it's already from what I understand, because it's already under the scope of what the pole dancing studio. I don't think that's right. That, I don't think that's right. I think that you get classified as an employee, you get your minimum wage, and you get extra. Like, as a stripper, you get minimum wage, and then you get all the money that you make. But on top studios of aren't doing that. 
Well, that's on and, them. Yeah, and that's that's their choice. That's so that's my personal reason for not liking it. It's right. not. It's that's a personal issue that I have experience yeah, with, it and like on you have a, a personal issue with yeah, these yeah. employers. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, but on a wide scale, mm-hmm. I'm pro AB five okay. because I want people to unionize. Mm-hmm. I want us yeah. to have like um that woman who fell, and it's going all over Instagram. Janae Sky. Yes, I love her. Yeah. I've worked with her multiple times. She's incredible, and she's sh- like, there's no reason that she should have fallen, other than like. All the different factors that go into pole dancing. Right. Well, she poles. made a mistake and she exactly. fell. And there's no reason that she shouldn't be afforded all kinds of benefits for exactly. falling. Um, but it sounds like, fortunately for her, and I misspoke on another podcast when I said the club did nothing for her. They ended up actually giving her something. I don't After know the all details. The press. After all the press, yeah. Uh, they did, but my point is I misspoke. Um, but yeah, of course, after all the press, they would have gotten so dragged if they mm. didn't. Yeah, yeah. I think they weren't initially going to, and then after all the press, they did. Mm-hmm. But I mean, how could you not? Well, but why does it take so much press to get the same rights because... as someone who fell up the stairs? That's the thing that kills me yeah. about like people who are anti-sex work. Yeah. Is like, okay, but you work for uber or you work at lyft like that was one of my other fucking things that like constantly pissed me off is if i got a ride home from an uber or lyft and it was never a man the men are always just creepy yeah you know how men are but the women would always try to save me if it was a female driver they'd always try to save me and i'd be like well why are you like why are you ubering yeah i mean that's a hella dangerous job for women Mm mm-hmm Girl, so, I, I could keep, keep you here, here for, for hours. hours. We're, We're going to have, have to do this, this again, again sometime. sometime. I would love that. Yeah. I have so, many, so many opinions. We, we have, have to, to get, get to our, our other segments. segments. Want to be fabulous just like these strippers? Pay attention. It's Stripper Tips. Um, immediately start saving as soon as you start working. Something from every shift. It's okay. life-changing. Mm-hmm. And I wish that I had... St- people tell you that and you're like, yeah, but it'll be here forever. And then yeah. something happens and now you're not stripping anymore. You can't work or, or whatever. What percentage of your income? Um, so I tried to save, if I made enough, I tried to save like 100 bucks from every shift just in like a random okay. pile elsewhere. And then I also used my stripper money to pay off my credit cards every month. Okay. So instead of necessarily putting it into a bank account, I was using it to pay down my debt, uh-huh. which... Nice. Depending, Depending on who you are, I would highly recommend that as well, but different strokes for different folks in sure. terms of that. But definitely save something in a savings account separate from everything else that you do with that money Okay. just for later. Nice. All right. What's the other one? Um, You're just there to work. So be cordial, but like friendships, if they happen, are great. Like our friendship, I feel like, happened because we started working together, but... You're not there to socialize, and mm-hmm. neither are the other women. And I wish I had known that when I first started, mm-hmm. um, because I it would have saved me a lot of, <laughs> yeah, a lot of trouble mm-hmm. and a lot of nonsense for me just trying to have friends and them being like, "Dude, you're interrupting! Like, away. Right. Like, co- stop cock blocking me." <laughs> um, <laughs> And then the last one that I think is really important for baby strippers primarily, because I feel like when we get older, we oh, we figure it out, is like if you frame a question in a way where a negative answer is positive for you, it works out better. So like instead of being like, hey, do you want to dance or do you want me to do you want another lap dance? Obviously, we don't like being sold to just in general. Right. So they're going to be like, no, I don't. Thank you. Okay. But if you go, do you want me to stop? They're going to be like, no. And oh, I'm like, that's oh, cute. cool. Thanks. 20 more dollars. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Okay. I so like that it's one. It's like sales tactics 101, but it's kind of a. Uh, it's hot. It's, yeah. It's, and you just whisper it aggressively in their ear while you're like slightly choking them out. And they're usually uh, for it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the slightly choking them yeah, out Yeah, just like trick. a soft, sensual, like aggressive touch right on their throat. <laughs> <laughs> that's not scary at all. Get ready for our rapid fire question round. It's time for four for one. Okay. You know the rules. Don't ask questions. Question number one. <laughs> have you ever masturbated while driving? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. Okay. <laughs> All right. Question number two. You see your ex while on a date with your new partner. What do you do? I probably laugh and then I tell my partner all the crazy stories and then obviously we have to do something to like peacock without making direct eye contact. Oh, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. I'm super fucking petty. I'll be like, here's all the shit. Here's all the tea. Let's do this thing. 
Oh mm, my mm, god. Mm, mm. Wow. And then we leave. You or we go do something else. Definitely this has happened to you before. Okay. <laughs> um and like, keep this one short because it could be long, but what's your most embarrassing moment? Oh, I don't know. So many. Uh faster. I know, I don't know. First I don't one. know. Um first one that comes in your head. Say it now. I don't know. Now. I don't have any <laughs> <laughs> I have so many embarrassing moments. Um, okay, so one when I was working at um, a club that's primarily stage oriented in mm-hmm. Hollywood, uh, we had a very um, well known actor who came in and got a lap dance for me, and I was still a baby stripper mm-hmm. at this point, so I didn't understand that when people ask you questions during lap dance, they want to be sold a fantasy. So I was just answering them like a normal person yeah <laughs> while giving a lap dance and he was like i bet you're a bad girl and i was like well my dad thinks i am but like my mom's really positive <laughs> and, like, I, went to, oh, I was having a moment and i went on God. like a, a good three song tangent yeah, how terribly expl- embarrassing for you explaining my personal life okay last one have you ever hid behind a tree took your sock off then took your tampon out wiped yourself with the sock to then go and have sex with your cousin's cousin no Oh, come on, no, Jordan. Like, you're not living. I, I don't. Come on. Well, to be fair, I grew up in the middle of nowhere, Ohio, so we're all practically related there anyway. Okay. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Oh, shit. All uh, right. All right, Jordan. Tell our audience how we can find you, find out more about you, follow you, all that jazz. Mm. Lay it on us. Um, Primarily Instagram. If you're going to friend request me on Facebook. It's just my political feminist rant, so be prepared. But to see me primarily <laughs> naked and dancing, Instagram, it's just my name, at Jordan Kensley. Uh, I am super hella shadow banned, so make sure you go into the following section, and then you make sure that you're on the like notification section so that you can know when I post things mm. and be kept informed, and so that you don't randomly unfollow me, and I don't randomly unfollow you without any warning at all. Thank you, Instagram, for ruining your my life. Automatic things that we've not chosen to do yeah uh but that's the big one okay Instagram. and Great. my website is just my name everything's just my name if you just type in jordan kensley you'll find me you'll find you good <laughs> well thank you so much for coming on the show yes. with us today how fun definitely want to have you back yes. for sure this thank is you like for having me thanks so for doing smooth. this i think it's important. yeah no problem thanks guys for tuning in and we'll see you next wednesday if you have Bye. any questions comments or concerns you can email us at yes a stripper podcast at gmail.com be sure to follow us on instagram at yes a stripper podcast and you can catch the show on youtube spotify soundcloud anywhere that you can find podcasts we hope you tune in next week i've been your host am davies see you soon